Legend of Total War here with part 5 of my Shogun 2 Rise of the Samurai Let's Play campaign as the Hiraizumi uh, Fujiwara clan. I was going to cross over there just to check, make sure I get it right. Because, um, I don't know. Anyway, so, um, yeah, as you can see, that when you leave the game without saving, um, after that, that um, those things show up, it disappears when you come back into it. Oh well, good experiment. I already knew that, but it doesn't matter. Um, also, there we've seen where their invasion is. It's happened here. Now, um, at first glance, it looks like this is a shit situation. But then I realise I've actually got I've actually got two agents in range that can distract it. So we'll try with this one first. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, all right. Well, that's good. So they're not moving this turn. That's good. So yeah, increase your charm when distracting that stuff. It's a good thing we're actually that we we got that that tech. Now I realise that the reason why this has happened, why we didn't see it coming, is because without any trade routes, we have no visibility out at sea anymore. But is that worth me raising a navy to repel each one of these? The, th the thing is, that was just one boat. Yeah, we probably could have repelled that, especially because it was just such a low, sh low thing. However, the problem is that there's so many enemy navies. In order to properly counter the all of the threats, I would need a lot of visibility. And the amount of money that I have to sink into the navy, it really wouldn't be worth it. Like, these invasions will be... There will be few and far between. Like, it doesn't happen that often. And when it does, we deal with it some <coughs> one way or another. So what we need to do here, obviously, is keep them distracted long enough that we can buff our defenses up. So we're going to need to get troops over here to repel this. Now, as for you, I want you to come over here and distract them as well. Because this will provide us... Hang on, can you seduce... Oh, right, okay, um... If you seduce him... It's not gonna do anything, but it'll give you experience. Uh, just, just come back into the settlement for the time being. Because he's not going anywhere this turn. But it'd be good to have a backup one here, just, just in case you fail next turn, for example. Because we're gonna need a few turns to, to sort this out. But it really... We are very vo much vulnerable to that, because the thing is, if our military and agents are all the way over here, then obviously we, we're not going to be able to deal with that. Alright, so, you look like you're going to be able to kill this. That would be good of you to do that. Let's do four. Good. Problem is, as far as, you know, winning that situation, um... Barely going to do a dent into it. Also, let's have a look here. Now, our finances of uh, our income has gone down considerably since we bribed this army. We should disband their most expensive units. I'm sure some people are going to be like, "Don't bribe them! I don't disband them. They're the best units, or whatever." Yeah, all right, whatever. Look, I'm thinking about the strategy of the game, not the, not the battles. As far as the battles are concerned, I don't really find them that interesting anyway. Um, so, whatever. Alright, we could bribe this. I'm sure there's other armies run on their way. What about this one? Yep, yeah, I'm sure they're the army that took us is really close by, but... Doing this for just forces them basically to come back. They're probably in the, in the forest somewhere. We don't have enough money to bribe this, but it's not really that urgent. That agent is tr going to try and bribe this town. We can't have that. That's their last settlement. Just thinking what to do about that. Because obviously, 
We should bribe it, but um, yeah, come over here and bribe it. It's still going down. Oh, they've got they've got one of their own agents in here. Okay. Can you increase your influence? Reduce agent costs. Does that make a difference? No, it didn't. Um, we'll have to pay off that um, that agent. Maybe you'll have to come over here and remove this army because I don't. See, yeah, it, it's blocking me. What if we could bribe that army? Uh, it's we don't have four hundred. All right, just come and stand here. Actually, even better, stand. Oh, fuck me, we were ambushed. So if I wanted to ambush them, and they've ambushed us. Alright, um, let's see here. What are we going to do about this? The balance of power is reasonably good. We have more units than them. So, Naginata attendance. I'm just thinking whether or not to, to fight this or not. We'll just auto-resolve it. I think we could do a pretty good job fighting this manually because we do have more troops in them. As long as we stick together, we'll be alright. At least I hope so. They just they don't have enough troops to properly ambush. As we've seen before, just because you oh no you got ambushed, it doesn't mean the end of the world necessarily. Ambushes you need the right units to ambush. Properly. For example, if you ambush all just entirely with archers, that's fucking worthless. Oh shit. Oh wait, wait, wait. So yeah, what what you need in order to ambush properly is a lot of cavalry. That's why it didn't work for us that time that we did ambush someone. Because you need to get in there before they can set up, and with infantry they just take too long to get there. All right, so get, get to have a, get to have a look at what they've got. Also, splitting their forces up like this this works for us. Not for them, because we'll just charge at one of these forces, all their generals on this side. Yeah, we'll just charge over here. Their infantry won't be able to reach us in time. So, oh, I can't select anything. So like I said, if we kill, if we kill their, um, their generals, well, they're fucked. You take on the Naginato attendants, you go around here, take on those generals' bodyguard. Oh, they're getting shredded by the generals, but that's okay. Yeah, okay, archers may need, want to turn around now. Get into a worthless skirmish against them. Try and break these Naginata attendants here. Okay, really, you don't need to be shooting them. Maybe, maybe actually, if you can come around the side here. Also, keeping our units in a big cluster like this maintains their morale. I know people don't like blobbing, but it works. Our general is in grave danger, my lord. Okay, pretty sure we took out one of their generals. See, we're winning the battle. Look at them, they're just standing around. Okay, take you out of there, just because I don't want any units wiped out. My lord, their general has fallen! A cat in blow! Alright, good job. You guys have a little bit of a rest, and now it, their ambush has completely failed. Seems like in this campaign, ambushes are just destined to fail for either side. It, it, it depends on the amount of force you bring. But like I said, they were not properly set up to ambush this. It's just It wasn't large enough. Okay, well we don't have time to have for a rest. You're going to have to just get in there. Should I run them down? No. Okay, 
here with our guys a little bit tired. That doesn't help them. But at the same time, we did kill the enemy general. That does work in our favour. Charge in here, but just... Okay, the whole army's about to rout. Yeah, there we go. It's pretty funny if we get a heroic victory on this one. I, I doubt it. This was easy. In fact, I reckon the fact that they ambushed us actually made this battle easier. Alright. Let's run these fuckers down. Shouldn't take us too long. Serpent for heroic, but the bounce of power just wasn't enough out of our favor for that to happen. I was actually thinking back to the ambush I did. I might have actually done a better job if I had kept all of my troops on one side, as opposed to splitting them up into three groups. It doesn't matter. Well then. I'm curious. Now that these guys basically realize they're doomed... Could we make them our vassal? You are here, oh, no, like an honest it. man at the front gate. We could make them our vassal if we took the settlement. Why make the vassal, you may ask? Well, the, the purpose of that is to um, get honor, basically. Let's wipe this out. Oh, this, he doesn't have enough movement. Well, whatever. Just um, stay in this area here. That way we can ambush anyone that comes over this way. And still get replenishment. I really want my general to be getting experience. My 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 daimyo. But the problem is, is that if we leave this area, it's just gonna get bribed. As soon as that as soon as that gets above uh, fifty percent. How high is, how fast is it going up? It's going up pretty fast. Alright, what are we going to do now? I got enough money to bribe, uh, to distract this army. And that's just good for experience, which is important. So that's good. Increase success chance by 5%, that all helps. Alright, now can we jack up the taxes this turn? Yep, alright, cool. So yeah, main concern is this over here. Could could also bring this general down. Two generals being better than one. But it's... I don't know, I don't think we need to. I think we can handle that situation. I mean, it's only one army. And we have two agents there. One of them has like 83% success chance, so... It's a good opportunity to, to train it up. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Let me just check all this shit. Yeah, it's all good. Moving on. Oh, fuck. Okay, that changes things. Yeah, see, I, I thought they'd come back. But that's okay. it's okay. It's wasting their time. And here's the thing. Um... That army and upkeep costs a hell of a lot more than that we ambushed them. Um, thank you. Wait, weren't we standing somewhere else? Okay, good. Because if we, if we stand here, we don't get any replenishment. Oh, fuck. Okay, there's a, um, another navy coming in over here. Alright, so things are starting to get a little bit more difficult. Let's drop this down. 
We don't want to revolt here, so call that off. All that shit's dead. Uh, I think the um, the enemy agent did that. Okay, so we have a look at this. Um, two armies, and I saw another one over here. Another army. Shit. Okay, what are we going to do about this? If I could make them go home. Alright. If we could get a peace treaty with them, they'd just go home. So, we, wait, what are they called? They're the Kagawa. So if we just throw money at them, Speak let's just see. Carefully, for my sword is ready to take your head. See, that's not enough. What if we offered them some sort of silly tribute? See, that's actually more money. Because they'll just betray us again anyway. This is just to make them go home. See, we're not going to be paying them for 20 turns. Because that's 40,000. Keeping them out of this for for 40 turns, that's actually kind of worth... Sorry, for 20 turns. That's actually worth it. Just fucking send them home. Um, can we actually try and make it a little bit, bit more... I don't know why I'm haggling. There's no need. But I want to... Okay, so they, they want the tw full 2,000. The funny thing with doing this is that you don't actually pay them up front. I do not wish to listen to you, but politics makes for strength. Now, if they declare war on us, um, well, they don't get the money. Which they'll probably declare war on us during the end turn. The next one. So we end up paying them nothing. Alright, now we only have one army that we need to bribe. However, I'm probably going to need to send her over here to distract this. Because we're going to need to get someone ready for it. Because that, that's a serious army. That, but that being said, what if when they land, we give them the exact same deal? Hey, you want 2,000 or 3,000? How about 4,000 a turn for 20 turns? You want, how about I'll give you $100,000 in 10 years from now. Hey, that sounds great. And then they're like, fuck these guys and we'll declare war on them straight away. We don't get your money. I wonder if I could do that with them as well. The thing is, you need to have the money in your, your here. You can't offer them something you don't have. They, they call bullshit on that. But this is this is not a big deal here. Can you distract that for me? 76, wow, you went from 36 to 76% chance. Good. Okay. Just keep them there for the time being, because if... I would actually like to fight them. So you, I want you to head over this way to get ready to distract them. But yeah, if any invasion force lands from here on out, just bribe them. That's what I'm saying. This is why this is why we had to work on our economy because bribes are just amazing in this. The Japanese, they love a good gift. All right, let's let's bring these guys down here as well. If I send them down under his command, they move a little bit further. I don't actually want to send him into the thing, but I just want to make sure, because I know that if we if we don't send them with the general, they probably won't make it there by next turn, which is where we'll need them. Okay, so, let's have a look here. Could you bribe this army? Their daimyo is in there, so we can't do that, unless it's their final region. Alright, let's have a look here. So, what do you want? Yeah, you definitely don't want to get assassinated. Alright, I want you to come over here. Hang on, hang on. I just want you to go over there and have a look first. Okay, they're not inside the settlement, so... I don't know where they went. They went back up here. I mean, they'll probably just take it straight back. But it's so cheap that... Oh, they're, they're over here. It's no big deal. It's a good thing about this to get get our agents lots of experience. And here's here's a good thing. Reducing our agent action cost by 30%. That's really good. Is there a tech that will reduce our costs with agents as well? Because I know in, in regular Shogun 2 there is. No. Okay, well that's fine. Now I wonder, if we made these guys our vassals... It would give our daimyo honor. Okay, also you can level up. Let's have a look. So... 
No, that's crap. Yes, that's really good. Extra replenishment. Both of these are trashy, I think, but we need them to access the other abilities. Like extra campaign movement range. That's going to be the most useful for him. I mean, we could win against that. I mean, I know they've got another army around here somewhere. It's probably hidden. Trying to ambush us again, I suppose. But I want to pay off that agent. Good. Now, good, the Fujiwara influence is increasing. What we can do... is we can vassalize them, right? And when the influence is back up high enough, we can still just request their allegiance. And I don't think that'll give us any penalties. Because it's their only settlement. We can still win this even in order resolve. And that's fine. Pure victory is fine. I mean, we didn't lose any units. Ooh, that's a lot of money. But yeah, but that would lose our daimyo... Honor, and that's not really worth it right now. So make it a vessel. But we gotta get the fuck out of there. Because they could betray us at the very next turn. Fuck at me, they, they recovered all of their strength from that. So yeah, you need to get back over here for a place. I don't think they'll betray us on the next turn. That fucking suck. But anyway, that should have given you some honor. Oh, where is he? Yep, okay, good. If I give him one more honor, that will uh, increase public order faction-wide. Also, let's try and establish a trade agreement with them. See if we actually get some money for this as well. No, we're not going to get any. That's fine. Sell them some military access, maybe. I will listen attentively, and then give you a fair response. Oh. Now speak your part. That we can't do it anyway, never mind. Alright, so this army is going to come over here and take this town. There's no doubt about that. Can I bribe this army? Or is that, is that their daimyo? No. Okay, if we can start spreading influence into this town here, that would also be good. So they are in Kyoto. We want to try and bribe as many settlements as possible in terms of our conquests, just because we, we don't want the... the uh, we don't want this shit. You know, resistance to invaders, that's never going to go away. Okay, so... Can I increase the taxes this turn? No. Alright, is there anything else we need to be doing with, like, our agents or anything? We could pay off that agent. But you'd have to get over there. What's it going to cost to pay him off? 75% chance for that much. Oh, there's a Monomi thing over here. What if we were to... Where's my... Where's my bitch? Let's seduce the gen... Seduce the agent. Ooh, very low chance of success. A lot of money. Joining our side. Flip a coin. Alright. Please work. Yes, we got it. That is worth every coin, stopping them from doing that. And we, we end up with a very, very well spread out... Oh, fuck me, I don't like it when they do this. Because I, like I like to specialize rather than just get everything, but whatever. At least we've, we've taken, their, uh, taken their shit. Now, you're in danger standing here because of this. However... I wonder if we could actually establish a vassal here. by taking that, because I just, I don't know. Because more vassals mean more public order. They're building in the region, they're upgrading the iron mine. Because the thing is, if we get any vassals, they will betray us. So we're counting on that. But I don't, I don't actually want the settlement. I mean, we could just let it, let it revolt. Let the rebels take it and then bribe it back. Because, yeah, we, we, could, we could crush them here. 
We've got all the force we need to, to destroy them. You can you can get there. No, you can't get there, but you can get he can. Look, sometimes you gotta take risks. Let's get in there. I want you to attack. Okay, you can get close if you attack him. Alright, there we go. So like I said, we're gonna do this to try and establish a vessel because we need honor. But also to wipe out this army. Good, we can make the Honda a vassal. But they, they will undoubtedly betray us sometime soon. Sometimes. Good, if we establish trade routes. Maybe we can actually see across here. Good, now we can get some visibility. So we can see that... Yeah, they're not the only ones coming. And it's just it's just one ship. Okay, so we'll try and intercept them around here. Is there anything else coming? So maybe I shouldn't have disbanded this navy, because we can intercept fuckers coming through here. Just get the cheapo shit. So we won't have enough time to recruit from there. They seem to be going straight to our capital. Why do we need a naval route to here? Why can't you just use it by land? Well, whatever, I don't really care. Um, anyway, that army got crushed. Of theirs. been thrown out of the region. Okay, let's see, what else can we do? So this region's exempt from taxation. It doesn't need to be, though. So that guy there did all the damage to the uh, town here. Bushy training ground, we don't want that, get rid of it. Buddhist sanctuary. Actually, that would be really useful for me to recruit another another one of those things. So they, they repair that, even though these guys might come over here and take it. Actually, no, they won't, because that's a walled settlement. Okay. So what else can we do? Keep looking over here, see if they're coming anytime soon. What what's the Okay, that's hundred percent Minamoto. So yeah, when when um when that becomes at fifty percent, we just bribe them anyway, make them disappear. And now he's got enough honor. Yeah, he's got honor that that um, that allowed us to to, um, to tax this this turn, make an extra 176. But still, honor is definitely worth getting. All right, let's spend some of this money in improving our economy a little bit more. Find something worth building. Thinking, what if we were to upgrade defenses here? Just just in case this didn't work. Like just in case a bribe wasn't enough. And it just it really drives home the point is, is we really do need to make more money because that'll allow us to do more bribes. Because they're the ones that are gonna break the treaties, not me. And even so, I probably could do it if I wanted to. And that's pretty much all the money we can spend this turn. Here's something. I'll take that. More food. Because, look at that. 43 food. Increasing it by this much. All, the, all of our towns are going to be fairly wealthy. As long as they don't get looted, our income is going to be increasing, even though we are, you know, taxing them a lot each turn. Or every second turn. Excuse me. Alright, let's move on. They're trying to get rid of my agent. Ah, oh, they did. Oh, well, luckily it was only level one.
Well, don't know why I bothered repairing that shit. Okay, they've landed... They've landed right there, so we need to, we need to bribe them off. Did those other guys declare war on us? What were they called again? Was it the Kagawa? Well, whoever it was, they they went to war with us because we've we've only got our two vassals that we're not at war with, so that means we got our income back. I don't think we paid them, so let's pay them off. The Kobayakawa. Speak carefully, for my sword is ready to take your head. Yeah, fuck off home, cunt. And then they just, just teleport straight back home. Oh, you silly game mechanics. Okay. Yeah, get him in there. Alright, that should be enough to defend that. But, I want you to keep sabotaging it. For your own experience sake. So that next time someone shows up here, you've got like as close to 100% chance as possible. charm when distracting armies that's probably actually a little bit better because that way if you fail you've got a good chance of unsuccess uh, good good chance of um, getting away plus you also get that extra five percent you know, you'll, you'll level up again soon soonish so as for you yeah you stay over here do I do I have five of those agents okay we can hire another one Where would I need it? Probably over here, actually. We should have two, because this is our, our core territory. And also, while, while, that, uh, while that army's there, you can sabotage it plenty. So, now, I'm pretty sure I've got five now. Yeah. Oh, it's agent spam day today. I don't care. Hey, it's working for us. It's cheaper than having armies. So, we can tax high this turn, can't we? Yep. Oh, I just realized that... Where's, where's my... Where's an agent? We could just take this over right now, couldn't we? Well, hang on, there's military force in there. They'd have to actually have their military out of the settlement in order for us to justify doing it. Otherwise, it actually attacks them. So, just come back over here all three armies and just sit here let's um okay let's upgrade this because I don't think the enemy are going to come past here hang on do we really need to be spending that much alright so they oh that's right we got rid they got rid of our agent here that's how we were able to do it over there they're not going to be able to bribe the settlement because the um things are there however you know they've got superiority here Oh well, we'll just um, we'll just we'll just have to, to hunker down. Okay, so as soon as they move that army out, we bribe them. I mean, they'll they'll declare war on us again soon. I mean, then again, I'm the one that betrayed them in the first place. Fuck it, I don't care. All right, what are we doing? So they're down here. They're on their way over here. Could I bribe them? I could, but we don't have much money. We should bribe this settlement. Dirt cheap now. Because that way it just keeps this army here distracted. Out of money. Alright, what can you do for me? Enemy, yeah, if we could be assassinating enemy agents, that would be great. I've got the perfect target for you. Okay, so high level agents are a little bit difficult for him, but we can probably get some low level ones. Oh, we'll 
I'll just... So that's 41% chance. I might... Uh, I, I might actually raise you that fund so you can do that. Let's, um... Don't worry about that one right now. Good. At least you got rid of them for the time being. And it gives you more experience. Because I really want you to become a good assassin for me. Get rid of these fucking agents. Where can I recruit these units? I haven't been able to recruit any yet. Okay, uh, I want to also bribe this settlement. Or maybe not. If they want to come over here and fight us, there's no way they'll win here. It's a fort. They'll never get in here. Alright, well we're out of money, so we can't really do anything else. Okay, um... I think we can afford to disband... Hang on, where, where, where's that navy? Where are they? Well, we can't see them. There must be somewhere. I know I saw them before. So yeah, this is this is where if we catch any of their um, their fleets coming through here with armies, we sink them. All right. Well, we got no more money, so let's just move on to the next turn. I don't think there's anything else we could do. Okay. So these guys here, we can try to get a trade agreement with them. No. They hate us too much. You stay in here. Because we've make, got to make sure to keep the Fujiwara stuff up. As soon as they move their army out, we bribe it away. The thing is, if we do that though, then we don't, we don't get our trade route, so we lose our visibility. Funny thing is, this, this settlement does have walls, but it's almost pointless to even bother fighting this. We're just not going to do any damage there, and they've got too many archers, they'll just shoot us to shit. Okay, so there's another naval invasion force coming in. So I fully expect that one of those armies are going to bribe us. Uh, are gonna, uh, sorry, the, the one that we bribed is going to betray us soon. Oh, they, they came here? Well, that's fine, because... This anyway. Now, the funny thing is, if it wasn't for the reinforcements, we probably could have won against this. But um, since they're there, don't even bother. So yeah, they just outright declare war on us. Well, I'm not giving you your payment then. And don't have to pay them at all. That saves me. There was another invasion force, I need to know where that is. Okay, so the public order here is not good. Oh, quick it up, bloody go there. Alright, let's just see, where, where is the invasion force? So, do we... So, it's hidden. Really need to keep keep an eye on this. Um, I don't know how big that army is. I don't think this is actually large enough to deal with it. So let's bribe the Doi. The thing is, they've got 12 regions. I don't know if they'll accept that kind of bribe. Speak maybe they will, maybe they quickly. won't. Speak quickly. Your presence is not entirely welcome. I feel like I'm, I'm bribing you very cheap. But if you could just go home, that would be great. We get a trade agreement with them? No. This always makes the game too easy doing this. Okay, see so now <laughs> fuck me. If we bribe this now, they um they just disappear. And we still get to keep the honor, I think. But we lose our visibility. But that's okay, we're just doing that to keep an eye on the little fucker. We can establish a vassal. Somewhere else, maybe. And it disappears. Do we lose... Do we lose honor, though? Nope. And because their army isn't in there. They only lose honor. It only becomes an attack if there's an army in there. Undefended settlements are easy pickings. Cool stuff. 
So that um, that settlement is secure, so we can start moving forward here. What happened to the agents here? They disappeared. Because I got a peace treaty with some of them? No, it wasn't. I don't know what happened there. So this guy's coming in. Hang on, here's someone. Oh, well, but we're at peace with them. Assassinate this. Like I said, I want this guy to be the, the greatest killer in the land. He cost me enough to bloody buy. Alright, so look, if they if they come down here, what have they got? Naginata attendance. Yeah, they will not win in this battle. In fact, what we could do is we could take some of our units and just put them behind here. Because we'll get free garrison forces anyway. Also, with our units here having extra accuracy, a lot of extra accuracy, that'll make them much better, obviously. Uh, that's where he went. I guess he wanted to escape the enemy agent. So, we just need to wait for, for them to move their army out, but also for the Fujiwara influence to increase, and we'll get rid of them once and for all. So yeah, we can come back straight back over here and bribe this. How's the influence here going? We're getting there. They've got another one of these guys. Let's let's get him because I can't fucking hire them. So I might as well just bribe or seduce wherever possible. That's not going to cost much. Out of my way, dickhead. Oh fuck. Oh well, next turn then. Yeah, bribe this. Again. Oh, we could pay off that agent. Nah, don't worry about it. Oh, we're at peace with them. Alright, cancel. Still, we got to keep our influence of it up. So, who, which was these doing? They'll declare war on us again. Don't worry about that. So, they're actually probably the biggest threat to us. Alright, now these guys here. What, what's here? There's some military forces. If we bribe this, it'll act as an invasion force. If we turn it into a vassal, these guys will actually be ejected into... Could be ejected into our land even closer. Just leave that for another turn. Oh, but we could we could take a worry. That's, that's safe. Now, I want this repaired because I want to get more of those things and I want that destroyed. Alright, so we've got a bit of money, let's, let's spend it to increase our cash. Oh, hang on, hang on, we haven't, we haven't dealt with this yet. So keep distracting it. So you do it as well. So you can get levels up. Alright, well you can go home now, because they're, they're not going to make any serious attack. In fact, we can disband one of these units, probably, because they're going to take winter attrition. So it's going to make them weaker. And the thing is, you don't want to put a full, full stack in here, or else they won't make the attack. They'll go somewhere else, which is even worse. And, and that's a major faction. Bribing them for peace is going to be a bit more tricky. Okay, we can no, uh, uh, no longer see what's going on over here. However, we saw that, f at least for this turn, we're good for the time being. Yeah, you go ahead and blockade the, the port, I don't give a shit. Alright. So, we've got 7,000 to spend. Let's invest in our regions to make more money. So, obviously we need to be focusing the most on food, because that's how we're making the major majority of our money. That's uh, through town wealth, that is. See how much that increases, but it's huge. So I could look for settlements where there is actually somewhere we can build up the food, so we can do it here. I mean, it, it's not a huge amount of wealth from farms, but this is a relatively safe region. 
Alright, we could upgrade that, but that will consume food. That's the problem. That'll also take eight turns to build. Uh, what else can we build food-wise? Is there any other regions that we haven't quite built up the food yet? Okay, over here we could use... Oh, hang on, we can recruit a Buddhist from here. And then get the barter exchange. Okay, cool. We won't have a lot of money come next turn, so maybe I shouldn't spend too much more. Part of me actually thinks about disbanding these armies just because I don't need my armies anywhere near as much as I need my, my agents to have money for bribes. The thing is, our stats for this campaign are going to look terrible because it's going to be like, I've lost more battles than I've won. But it, the thing is, we still won the campaign because of just how many bribes we did. Because like this, this castle was a defeat. Oh, so they immediately declare war on us again. That's fine. That army's pretty small. Okay, so this is a battle. Is it going to do it? Okay. There is no way in hell we're going to lose this because this is a this is an actual fort. It's the second best area to try and, try and defend, and they've they've only matched us in strength. This is a good opportunity for him to to get uh, some more experience. Also, if we don't wipe them out, he'll be able to chase them off and get some more experience afterwards. So he's, he's, he's got a good amount of honor at the moment. He needs one more to get to max. bad weather. However, this bad weather is going to affect them worse than me. Okay, let's just move everyone up here for the time being. Just, just have a complete reset. And then we'll make judgment calls from here. Okay, so. Just trying to think. Have archers in the main area up here. Hopefully their improved accuracy pays off well for us. I mean, they should be twice as deadly as they were before, at the very least. That's good. It's got it pretty much completely surrounded there, completely covered. Then, I think we'll just keep it at that for the time being. Keep these guys. Oh, what about the general? They'll probably try and target him. Still, if we go down there, that could be risky, so just, um, just wait and see. Actually, no, what we'll do, send him out here, because he could just come straight back in there if they're out here, they won't be able to shoot him straight away. I want him to go and hide, because what he could do is go and distract a few units, if we need to, just buy us more time to handle this, because these guys don't need his support. So we need to know where they're coming from. Okay, that area there seems cleared. They're coming in from over here. Okay, I need you to go and hide. Just because it'll be safer for him. They're coming in from over here. You gotta move over this way. Okay, hang on. What's... Okay, they got bow attendants coming over, over here and general bodyguard. Now look, it's, it's not safe for you over there. What about if we can cross over this way? This is where you need to go. go. Go be safe over this way. I should have put them over this way, but how was I supposed to fucking know? So we've got Naginata attendants here. If you could distract them, that would be good. Yeah, and shoot them. So, there's no one over here. So archers over here aren't particularly useful, but having them distracted here is a good opportunity just to just to shoot them because these are some pretty strong units. Like I said before, strike them where they're weak, and then afterwards where they're strong will crumble. Charging 
up the hill, they're getting exhausted. Yeah, keep them close to the walls here, so that our archers can shoot them, but they'll never catch us. Infantry can't catch cavalry. No man, no matter how fast, can run as fast as even the fattest horse. At least I don't think so. You gotta wonder though, how fast would a Kenyan horse be? Alright, so the skirmish begins. Also, we do need to make sure these units don't get wiped out because we can't replace them here. So how are they going for kills? Not very well, to be honest. Sort of was expecting a little bit better. The problem with doing this, though, is it um, it requires micromanagement. We're, we're not really paying attention to this stuff over here. Okay, the bulk of their force is attacking here, which means this will probably come under attack. Just let the skirmish continue. When we're damaged, maybe I'll move the archers down into this area. We're not. Hopefully, we're not moving ourselves into a dead end down here. Just shooting us up here. So come stand over here then. So you're gonna capture that. The enemy have taken the tower. Shit, 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 get the fuck out of there. Okay, where's the red line? Okay, you're, you're safe to even come down to here. Good, just stay away from them for the time being. But don't forget about him, because if we lose our Daimyo here, that would suck. Okay, they're climbing up. Let's move these guys back to here. Get ready to attack. Also, another thing to know is that these guys are very fucking tired right now. Look at them. Really bad morale. Get in there. So yeah, with my archers, you may want to turn them all around. Just... Oh shit. Just stand at the back here. I don't want to send them into melee like I would do in other defenses. At least I still want to shoot them, obviously. Because we've got the ammo for it. That's it. Let's get, let's get a mass route going on here. The balance of power's in our favor. There's no way in hell they're going to win. Not when we've got the morale advantage here as well. These two here, move them into this area because they'll be safer there. This one as well. Try and keep our casualties evenly distributed. Our general shit, is shit, 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 shit. Danger, my lord. I think that's the daimyo right there. That was that was very bad there. They actually caught me really quickly. Really got to keep an eye on that. That's the big problem with doing this. Is I'm, well, I'm busy checking on this, I'm not looking at him. No, 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 I don't want you going into melee. That'd be silly. Okay, they should be fine over there to keep, keep an eye on themselves. For the general to be distracting three of these units, I think is, is making this up here a lot easier for them. So the one that's not shooting, well, actually, I can't even tell which one the Daimyo is. I think it's this one here, because he's the only one that looks different. Back. Bounce power's nicely in our favour. Yeah, if we could, if we could uh, recapture this, that would be, shit. that would be good. So they're down to two of these units now. They had three, but now they've only got two left. Okay, 
No, 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 no. You stay in here. Them shooting us now doesn't really matter. Okay, how about you come over here, back to this position, because you want to be able to shoot them. Fuck, 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 fuck. Come on. Alright. No more of this dicking around shit. Come on. Get him out. Because the thing is, our general's always up the front. You get back up here. No more no more risking him. It's too risky. If they came up here now, we'd be able to handle them anyway. See how the towers are shooting them. These guys have taken a little bit of damage, but there's no one in the red, so we're all good for the time being. I mean, as much as I'd love to keep shooting them, I just can't risk can't risk his life. So yeah, get up, get up here. They can't use flaming shot in this game, right. These guys are actually taking quite a bit of damage. Let's move some of the ones that aren't so damaged down here. I think you should take some time to, to try and run them down a bit. Especially their bow units. Because just a few extra kills will make it easier on the order resolve. Not that um, we should have any problems. Because they got a, they got wiped out of this. Every unit took. Oh wait, this one didn't take any damage. So it was, it'll be good for replenishment. Take out these bow attendants. That's good for his experience as well. Close victory? Come on, they didn't even come close to, to defeating us. Oh well, maybe I could have done that a little bit better. So we should be able to run them down, finish them off next turn. Is this that's not really a big deal though where's our agent oh, over here that's a pretty small army to be honest but distracted anyway doesn't cost much uh, that's not great odds see if you can go first good and then if you went after him Still the same odds. So you go back over here. If they were to attack... Yeah, no, they're fucked. A few more turns and we can get rid of them. Okay, now I wanted to bribe that agent, but I've lost sight of him. Well, that sucks. So, 
So, we repaired this so we can get ourselves the sail. That's what I wanted. Or is it... How would it be pronounced in Japanese? Or would it be saw? Let's get another one. Just put him in there for the time being. Okay, so like I said, we want to make sure we run these, these guys down. So you finally get a level up. And 39. We, had, we started off and he was 22 years old. It took him that long to win two battles. But you know, we just haven't been fighting battles. Alright, so what do we need? Minus 2% chance of being assassinated. Okay, we'll go with that. Problem is, the level 1 to level 2 rank is, is kind of shit. Is it? Oh, right, because non clan allegiance. Alright, so, well, that's okay. You'll probably have to stay there for a little while longer, make sure that goes back up. But that's okay, so. This is a high tax turn anyway, so it's fine if it's got problems. Are we researching again? Yeah, that. I feel like we should be researching this, but there's been no battle so far. Well, actually, there was there one that we could have actually used more ammunition. We're really behind in regard to the uh, those, those skills, but that's okay. Alright, what do we need to do now? We could bribe that, but I'm just not 100% certain of whether or not we should. Yeah, just do it. Okay, we just pledged the enemy force, not the actual army. Funny thing is, I don't actually want their force, so go away. Pretty sure we can turn this one into a vassal. Give give our guy max honor. Keep them together because it's safer. That's what the enemy does does anyway. Actually, we could try again. No, we can't. Just um, not enough movement. Unless we sent him back, it's not worth it for one unit. Fuck that. It's, not inc it's increasing re relatively fast. Alright. So they took this region over here. So then we just take it straight back off them. Oh, they also had this region. Oh, that's right. I couldn't take it last turn because we were at war with... We weren't at war with them last turn. Alright. I want you to come around here. You can't make it here this turn, but... You need to stop their influence from... I'm coming back. Okay, you, your job is to kill enemy agents. Not great odds. What about this one? Because I just want you to succeed. Ah, oh, damn it, he didn't make it. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Alright, what are we doing next? Just because you can seduce another one. So yeah, if these guys were to, to come up here with their seven units to attack here, they won't they won't succeed, especially with that being built. Anyway, that's pretty much all of our money spent. Can't even purchase any more farms, but still, these two here need to be improved. 46 food is pretty good. What's predicted? 51, very nice. Eight turns until that. Diplomacy is, of course, worthless at this point. Well, it's not worthless, but um, because hey, bribing this, bribing the armies seems to work well. 
depriving the, the factions for one turn. Yeah, I can't see anything else we really need to do, so let's just move on. If they're distracting my armies, then that's not, really not a big deal. Okay, so what we really need to be doing is focusing on wiping out some of these factions, because we're just sort of... It's a sort of a stalemate at the moment. We're not really making much progress, but neither are they. So we demoralize an army. That way we get instills fear. Um, so we need... We need, uh, what's it called? Cells to do that. Can you get rid of her? 63% chance to get rid of her. Right. Well, at least you didn't get killed. Pretty sure we can vassalize this one here. Which one? The other brother? Okay, um... Yeah, just do it. This gives them some experience. Send them all together. See, so yeah, we're gonna vassalize it. Good, so we vassalize the Toki. And let's get a trade agreement with them. And as soon as they move this guy out of the settlement, then we'll just bribe them. And that's given him his maximum honor. Now, establishing more vassals will do nothing at this point. Yeah, pay it off. Make it go away. They're fully replenished, so that's good. Alright, so... Taxes need to come back down, but of course this region has bad public order. I could just exempt it from taxation. Which, considering there's not much money here, that might actually be the best option. Actually... Yeah, just whatever, just stay in there for the time being. I mean, these guys need some time to recover anyway. What else do we need here? So we can now we can now build encampments. We need to build that in a different region. Let's have a look. That'll be good for repression. Oh, hang on, let's not spend too much. Because we've still got more bribes to do. Oh, shit. Maybe we can bribe their army and then just disband it. But that's really not going to do very much. Just come back over here, request allegiance. And just keeps, keeps them locked down. Okay, you as well. How are we going over here? It's going to take a little while. Can you distract them by any chance? 85%. It costs a bit of money. I don't know. I don't know if it's really worth it right now. So what I wanted her to do is, is seduce enemy agents. Specifically these ones. The Monomies, because I can't recruit them. I mean, once I get this... Actually, let me just see here. Right, if I bribe this... No, I need you there, so just stay there. 
I need him to level up. Okay, so the public order here is good. You can disband these now. And yeah, what about these over here? We need to build up the farms. Because that's what's going to increase our wealth. So now the predicted is up to 56. How many settlements do we have? 28. We really haven't expanded much lately. But we'll get there. I mean, with our armies here, we're just, just slowly moving across. And this over here is just a big clusterfuck. Okay, did we demoralize this army? I don't know, whoops. I don't know if we really need to bother with demoralizing, oh, not demoralizing it, um, distracting it again. But then again, it's good for their experience. So it costs money. Yeah, just stay in here, entertain the nobles, wait for the attack to happen. We're ready for that now. However, this one over here, yeah, just keep an eye on it. Like, hopefully they just come down over here, attack, and then they'll lose, and then they'll just be in the bit. I mean, I could pay them off. Alright, so we've got a little bit of money left, let's, let's build. Okay, because I really want to try and focus on building up the farms or the food stores, but there's just none available here at the moment, it seems. Here's something. Man, look at that money, and that's just on normal taxes now. Okay, so let's move on. Alright, so it's to the point now where they, they know they can't win. So they're just going to raid. So I'll just pay them off and make them leave the area. What the fuck are they doing? would fight it manually, but I know we couldn't win this. Having high morale isn't going to make any difference. There's just too many of them. But that's a fairly defensible region. Comparatively. So yeah, as soon as this guy moves his army out, we'll take the settlement back. Same with them, next turn. And distracting that army could be a good thing, because they're, they're clearly coming up this way. Alright, now, what I said I was going to do is that this one here... We don't have enough strength to go out there and fight them. It would be better for us, I think. So they're actually causing me some damage here. Just to, um, just to bugger them off. Which one are they? They're the... Yashima Taira. So just pay them off. Let's see if this you works. You are here, like an honest man at the front gate. Better that, I suppose. Than They'll just declare war on us straight away, and that's fine. But that just gets rid of them. Okay, so they're not even coming coming for us here. We've still got money enough to, to be able to bribe them. So they, they, these are the uh, Kikuchi. They want to attack here, because that's less defended. Well, we probably could beat them. This is, it's just going to be annoying. If you must, but speak carefully if you value your tongue. Yeah, go away. Can't seduce them. They're spreading Tyra everywhere. Funny thing is, if they stayed in one spot, they could actually bribe my settlements. Alright, 
Alright, so uh, you, you stay here. And I want you to be assassinating stuff. Let's have a look. Where are some agents? Here's one. Good. Are you gonna level up? No. He's, he's already. He's only got one more level up to do. He's 50 years old. How are we going here? It's getting there. If we were to come over here and bribe this, maybe we could hire a new one. But then again, we do need two of these things. Yeah, let's bribe this. They're keeping their army in that. But we'll still keep our, our guy here, just in case. Do with them. So still need to keep him there. To um, as soon as yeah, as soon as that's um available, we'll take it. I think what we should do is send our armies down here to deal with the the Doi forces. Let's let's secure this part of the country. And by secure it, I mean wipe out their armies, but of course bribe the settlements, because that way there's no resistance to invaders. So is this a term where we can increase taxes? Yep. Don't worry about the, the loss of income, because they'll betray us next turn. Counting on it. That's nothing, don't worry about that. So we can upgrade the gold mine here. Truth be told, probably better off actually building that, getting the extra wealth per turn. Certainly don't need the extra movement range. It's a good region, this one. Never going to lose that resistance to invaders. Alright, go for that. Just, just because we can. Okay, well that used up pretty much all of our money. Actually, no, no, that would be a better, better choice. Because the thing is, if you think about it, one food now spread across twenty-seven regions. Mm, I don't know. But it's also cheaper. Could come under threat soon. There we go, that's good. How much longer should we stay here for? Just a little while longer. How much is that increasing by? It's not by much. But yeah, then we'll send him over here to help with them. And as soon as these guys are gone, we can push the army up here. So yeah, we don't need these troops here anymore. Okay, good. Let's move on. That's okay. Thanks for making sure I don't have to pay you. So yeah, very soon we're going to engage these armies and get rid of them. Because otherwise it's just going to be back and forth. Now, if we hadn't kept bribing these settlements, they would have already been on our ass, Which may have actually been alright. That's okay. And now we need to lower the taxes. That way we don't have to pay anyone their tributes. Hey, look at that, we can actually tax it under this position here, with no, no revolts. I guess that's thanks to the daimyo's honor. 
There's a big difference in income. Okay, so yeah, let's do that. You might actually be better off to keep it like that because the difference in income with this is pretty high. And if we do this, that way we don't have to have the other, the you know, discontent penalty. So overall, income should start increasing. So have a look at this. Even with the discontent, everywhere is increasing now. So that's good. Maybe we'll just keep it on that. Okay, so it's it's ready to go. We're just waiting on them to have their army leave. Their army has left, which meant you're now mine. Oh, it declines allegiance. Okay, do I have another one nearby? I do. I've got this guy here. One in 20 chance of that happening. It's not a big deal, but... There we go. And then they're gone. Alright, get rid of this for me. Yeah, he's got a long way to go. Alright, so public order here. Let me just see. If we moved him out... It's not... Revolting. But I suppose with the taxes increased... Recent events. What are those recent events? Is that is that global? Let me see here. What did we do that was recent events? See, that's going to increase public order. Look, if I have to tax it every every second turn, that's fine. Let's just move on. Because I want him to gain experience. Is it? Actually, he's already got max on it, so he really doesn't need it. Actually. So we'll build here. Build a Buddhist sanctuary that'll increase happiness. And also send this Sal so however it's fucking pronounced over there. I need I need to hear it. Especially when it's written like that. Yeah, I think they'll be pronounced so. I don't want to attack that. I want them to bring their army out. Also, we don't want to be staying here during the winter, so let's just move back across here. No sense in taking attrition unnecessarily. Don't need that right now. So let's see here. If, if we ever want to move this guy out of the settlement, what do we need to do? We need to... Um, we need that to be at six. I guess he's fine in that. Just, but the thing is, he's not going to live forever. How old is he? He's he's got ages to live. We don't really need to upgrade this town, do we? It's not, it's not under any threat. Alright. So what's our food likely to be soon? 61. So I built a lot of that shit up. Can't see anything to bloody build that I want. Looking specific oh, here's something. It's looking specifically for stuff that's gonna increase food. Because as we can see here, that town wealth as it continues to swell up, you'll see our income's going to become gigantic. Because we can't rely on trade. Okay, let's just do a check of the agents. So four over here, yep, and this one here. We're still just waiting for them to move out. Also, they've got that army. You'll need to distract him. Oh, I've got no money. Because if he comes over here and starts wrecking us, then I'll need to redirect him over there, and I don't want to do that. Hang on, let me just check something. So they're at war with them as well. They're at war with everyone we're at war with. Are those all the factions that remain? It's not that many. Okay, let's, let's move on. You know, it's called Realm Divide, but it's more like Realm Unite. Everyone reunites against me. Well, I guess that's still a divide, isn't it? So 
So that army was sabotaged, but that's not a big deal because that's not really a proper armor anyway. So I really need you to distract him this turn. Two thirds chances. Good, that buys us one extra turn. Still waiting on these fuckers. They just they will not leave the area. It's sort of like they know what I'm what I'm up to. How much would it cost me to bribe this? Oh, I'm not doing that. And I can easily bribe these settlements back. Stand there, that way you can easily get to any one of those next turn. Okay, that didn't fix it. So, let's just keep... Oh, hang on. The re recent event thing, whatever it was, has gone away. So, we'll actually have to go back to this. But for this turn, we can, we can do that. Unfortunately, we can't tax this one. Maybe we should just leave it on this. No, no. I want the money. We need the money to keep investing it. So these guys over here, we could backtrack over here to go and kill them. But I might just... It might be easier if I just send them a, a little bribe. Speak plainly. Speak quickly. Your presence is not entirely welcome. And it, the thing is, it's so stupid, that bribe actually means nothing, because... Uh, because... They're just going to betray me straight away. Okay, now, over here, this had a chance to go back down, so... I've got a few armies coming in all over the place. You come in here. And the agent there. 36% chance, it's not good. He's, he's really not the best assassin. Oh, still got rid of it for the time being. That's good enough. So I want this guy to come down here and ca recapture this. Okay, what I want these guys to do is come down here. We want to wipe out these armies. Now, can we make it there? Y yeah, they can, but... The problem here is that he'll probably just run away. Whoops. I should have brought more forces. So I'll just withdraw from that. Can you still do it? No. Oh, I was going to bribe the settlement first. I still can actually. I don't. I don't want more troops though. So just just disband all of them. Cause I just I just wanted them to reduce the number of troops they've got. Cause like I said, I don't want to take this militarily. I just want to kill their armies. Almost an hour and a half now. Alright, so let's look for stuff to, uh, to build and then move on to the next turn. Specifically looking for these, these kind of structures. Here's one. And is another. Okay, good. Alright, what do we got here? Bushy Dojo. Yeah, we wanted to keep that there. Alright, cool. So, four turns away from getting that. That's going to drastically increase their income as well. I expect that these guys will betray me. I didn't bribe them this turn, did I? I thought they declared... Let me see if we get trees. Nope. Alright, never mind. Let's move on. Yep, that was to be expected. But the thing is, all of their troops went all the way home. So, no big deal. Let 
Well, the odds are in our favour. Not by much, though. I wonder, I mean, we're already at an hour and a half. I wonder if we should actually fight this battle manually, because it... Let me see, what have they got? Got a bow levy. I, th I still think we're probably better off auto-resolving this. Yeah. Oh, that army didn't leave the bloody area. need that fucking army to leave, or else I can't get rid of them. So, th yeah, they got a chance to replenish a lot, and we get no chance to replenish. I may need to send one unit over here just to besiege that, just to, so we can finish this guy off. So, yeah, just send one unit down here. I don't want to take it that way. Good, that wipes him out. And I suppose that's a good place to end the episode there. So, situation looks good, I think. I think we've expanded a little bit. But taking out those armies is its own reward. Um, oh, I should have turned the tax down. It's okay. I'll remember to do it next time. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. So like and subscribe. Part 6 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.